Oh yes, what's up? Um, in the last video, I showed you how to convert your AI music to VD. Um, the AI music can uh, be generated by Refusion Audio or any of the AI generated music. But what we were covering in that was mostly um, pianos, guitars, and xylophones, right? So for the for the drums, like the kick, the snare, and the hi hats, I don't use um, I don't use uh, basic pitch, okay? I manually create them so that um, I can import them here. That's my ultimate goal. So I can get, I can get something like this. Okay, so I've already done that, but I'm gonna start from scratch, okay? So the song we are going to be redoing um, is this one, Evan Melodics. Okay, good. So go ahead and download um the song and then download the stems, okay? Download those two and then open your favorite door. I'm using FL Studio. You can use your favorite. And then I want you to import the song. So import the song. Right. And then um import the stems right yeah just a second let's make sure everything is lined up okay um my focus is going to be the drums so i'm just going to get rid of these other ones for now so that you can see what's going on and the first thing you want to do is you want to get the correct tempo you want to set your, your project to the correct tempo so just click this and then detect tempo um it'll tell you the best estimates um it'll say 83 so i'm going to choose um a range which includes this which is 52 to 100 so i'm going to use this option I'm not going to use this one so that it recalculates but within this range okay um that's best guess is 87 so that's the tempo we are going to use and set our project to okay sorry that's supposed to be um, 87 okay so our tempo is at 87 so the best way to check if your tempo is at 87 try your best to align um the first kick to um to a bar or a beat right so let's just try to do this yeah i think it's perfect here and it and then if you zoom out you'll see that all the other Beats they line up into a, a musical division, right? Either a beat or a bar. That's how you know you kind of got the correct tem the correct um, tempo or BPM. Good. Now that we have the correct tempo, we are going to start recreating our track. Our track. So I'm going to start doing the the kick first. Okay. So let's place um, our pattern right here. So that it aligns with um, it aligns with our with our first kick. All right. I just want to show you that this thing works, and you can repeat it for the rest of the instruments. All right. So if I play this, know that the first note right there is a is a kick. So I'm going to go into my kick and then I'm going to place one right here and then I'm going to try to listen. Okay, I think there's two kicks somewhere around here. Um, it's a bit, the original song is a bit loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute this one and only leave the drums so that I can hear better. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce um, the volume of the of the drums, right? That's one. I don't know why it's, it's... Oh, there it is. I'm going to reduce the volume of the drums. And then... Yeah, you want to listen with your, with your ear, right? But this is how you know that you have the correct tempo. Because every time you lay a beat, it will um, 
இரவு நல்லா என்ட்ரா பை Right. I don't have my headset on, but you listen with your ear. Um, and let's assume this is the entire thing. You just use your ear, just repeat it for maybe for four bars or so. If you are sure that's the check drum, I'm just speeding through this. And then once you have it, since we are using patterns, you can just go ahead and just repeat the same pattern here. Right. So just repeat the same pattern uh, and if it changes you can right click one of this and then um, make unique and then edit the second pattern and then maybe add another kick if it matches the kick right um, I do the same thing for the clap and then the hi-hat it takes me about 15 10 10 to 15 minutes to make um, the entire song because the only thing you're making is one pattern and then you keep repeating it right and then you have the entire um, kick drum for the the entire drums for the song so i'm going to open um one of the completed ones um no, that's not it this one and um here's what the drums look like i have a couple of patterns here pattern one two and three so you can see i have my kick i have my snare i have my hi-hat and the way i laid them down is i just did the same method i just showed you and then i listened by ear plotted uh, the pattern and then I'm repeating the patterns here that's all that I'm doing and then after that I'll export it to um, Unreal Engine using the MIDI Engine plugin MIDI Engine like this and then just you know animate stuff lights and the drums and the snare like mapping the kick, the kick drum to this one and then mapping the snare to this one and then the hi-hat to this one that's basically it and that's why I, I like to convert my um, uh, AI music to MIDI for you you can probably produce an entire song after converting stuff you know so I'm sure everybody has a different use case but this is one of my use case right here mm -hmm. 